good morning students today i am going to start a new chapter towards a longer and happier life medicine is a branch of science medicine is a branch of science that deals with the treatment of diseases so medicine is a branch of science that deals with treatment of diseases the progress has taken that has taken place in medical science is the result of observation and experimentation today we see the medical science has been moving very far moving forward because of experiments and observations earlier people did not know or understand the nature of diseases they often considered thought of diseases as punishment from god before we had a proper health care people used to think in olden days that diseases are punishment from god today we have moved so forward in science that today we are able to cure almost all diseases excluding one or two excluding one or two observation and experimentation led to the specialization in different types types and areas of medicine they also led to the invention of invention of various instruments and methods of treatment it also led to the invention of various instruments methods of treatment thermometer thermometer measures temperature by using materials that change in some way when they are heated or cooled thermometer is designed in such a way thermometer consists of a substances that change in a way when they are heated or cooled this is how this is the principle behind thermometer in a mercury or alcohol thermometer the liquid expands when it is heated and contracts when it is cooled we all know thermometer which contains mercury the mercury expands on heating and contracts on cooling so the length of the liquid column is longer or shorter depending on the temperature we measure the temperature the liquid column will be longer or shorter depending on how our body temperature or the body temp sub temperature of other substance modern thermometers are calibrated in standard temperature units such as fahrenheit or celsius in today's society taking your temperature can be as simple as a click of a button or it can be little more time consuming with the thermometer with that you place under your tongue and wait for the current temperature for the current temperature they are accurate they are accurate and does not take too long to get the temperature of the person they are accurate does not take too long to get the temperature of the person still used is a thermometer in which you place under the tongue and guess on the temperature given the height of the red substance in the center of the glass cylinder this can give you a pretty good idea of current temperature but cannot always be accurate finally there is new age digital thermometer in which you gently place the probe in the ear push a button and temperature of the person shows up in no time at all with this technology and faster scanning method digital instant ear thermometer offer you the ultimate temperature measuring tool this is the most advanced thermometer of today's time the first thermometers were called thermoscopes and several inventors invented a version of thermoscope at the same time Italian inventor Sandorio was the first inventor to put 
a numerical scale on the instrument. Galileo Galilei invented a rudimentary water thermometer in 1593, which for the first time allowed temperature variations to be measured. In 1714, Gabriel Fahrenheit invented the first mercury thermometer, the modern thermometer. So this is about thermometer. Thermometer were called first thermoscopes. They work on the basis that some liquids expand on heating and contract on cooling by thereby showing the temperature. Mercury alcohol thermometers are used. A stethoscope is a diagnostic instrument used by medical professionals to listen to a patient's chest cavity, heart and various pulse points. Doctor use these tools as a part of non-invasive examination procedure, commonly listening for sounds of congestion in lungs and irregular heartbeats. Nurses may also use them to listen for restored blood flow during blood pressure checks among other procedures. Invent instrument invented by French physician René T. H. Lanek in 1890 is also used by doctors for listening to sounds from heart and lungs. At one end of the instrument there is a diaphragm. The doctor places it over a heart or lungs. A stethoscope is a diagnostic instrument used by medical professionals to listen to patients' chest cavity, heart and various pulse points. Doctor use these tools as a part of non-invasive examination procedure, calmly listening for the sounds of congestion in lungs and irregular heartbeats. Nurses may also use them to listen for the restored blood flow during blood pressure checks among other procedures. The instrument was invented by French physician René T. H. Lenny. It is used by doctors for listening to sounds from heart and lungs. At one end of the instrument there is diaphragm. The doctor places it over the heart or lungs. How does a stethoscope work? When a stethoscope is placed diagram side down on patient chest, the sound waves vibrates the diaphragm. The resulting waves are channeled up to the tubing and into the headset then where are ears. When the bell is used, instead it's picking up the vibration of sound waves against the patient's skin which causes the bell to vibrate and again funnel up to tubing to headset and ears. Normally the sounds we hear are results of scattered sound waves. But the tubing of the stethoscope acts to focus the waves which reflect back forth again interior walls of tube. For technically inclined, this process is called multiple reflection. Stethoscope is placed diagram side on a patient chest. The sound waves vibrate the diaphragm, the resulting waves are channeled to the tubing and into the headset and then to the various ears. When the bell is used instead, it's picking up the vibration of sound waves against the patient's skin, which causes the bell to vibrate and again funnel up through the tubing to the headset and ears. Normally the sound we hear are results of scattered sound waves. But the tubing of a stethoscope acts to focus the waves which reflect back and forth against the walls of the tube. For the technical inclined, this process is called as multiple reflection. Multiple reflection. Multiple reflection.
the process of focused repeating sound waves is what makes stethoscope work by amplifying the sound of heartbeat and allowing a medic doctor to hear or nurse to hear it clearly next is microscope a microscope is a scientific instrument that makes things that are too small into big so that they can be examined correctly so that they can be examined correctly a simple microscope is a microscope that uses only one lens for magnification it is the original design of light microscope von leeuwenhoek's microscope consists of small single converging lens mounted on a brass plate with a screw mechanism to hold sample or specimen to be inspected even though it is now considered prehistoric the use of a single convex lens still found in simple magnification devices such as magnifying glass the loop people generally use microscopes or doctors and scientists next we are going to learn about microscope a microscope is a scientific instrument that makes things that are too small into too big so that they can be examined correctly a simple microscope is a microscope that uses only one lens for magnification it is the original design of the light microscope von leeuwenhoek's microscope consisted of small single converging lens mounted on a brass plate with a screw mechanism to hold the sample or specimen to be inspected even though it is kind of considered prehistoric the use of a single concave lens for viewing is still found in simple magnification lens lenses devices such as magnifying glass next is x-ray machine and scanner x-rays are electromagnetic radiation that differentially penetrate structures within the body and creates images of the structures and photographic film or fluorescent screen these images are called diagnostic x-rays diagnostic x-rays are useful in detecting abnormalities within the body they are painless non-invasive way to help diagnose problems such as broken bones tumors dental decay presence of foreign bodies scanners enable doctor to understand problems of internal organs like the brain x-rays are electromagnetic radiations that differentially penetrate structures within the body and creates images of the structures on photographic film or a fluorescent screen these images are called diagnostic diagnostic x-rays diagnostic x-rays are useful in detecting abnormalities within the body they are painless non-invasive way to help diagnose problems such as broken bones tumors dental decay and presence of foreign bodies scanners enable doctors to understand problems of internal organs like the brain in some cases standard x-ray tests are not enough for diagnosis of a pain source in these instances there are number of specialized x-ray tests level including ct scan computer axial tomography this non invasive and minimal multiple x-ray images taken from different angles to create three dimensional image body structures it may be performed alone or with the use of special die called medium this test may be used when air inside the body needs to be used with multiple organs and in great detail orthography this minimally invasive test involves injection of a contrast medium into a joint followed by standard x-ray ct ct scan and mri magnetic resonance imaging include identification of tendon and ligament injuries tom rotation tough and base 
joint replacement other prosthesis laser is a new technology by using laser rays doctor are not able to treat patients without cutting open the affected parts simple machines and for what they use thermometers to measure person's temperature to so magnify the sound of heart and lungs microscope energizer large as a view of an object not visible to naked eye x rays machines gives picture of gives picture of person's body new discoveries and inventions have increased the life plan and improved the treatment and individual gets during lifetime specialist doctors are able to do operation these operations have not been possible due to the discovery of anesthesia the discovery of antibiotics like penicillin streptomycin mycetin are cutting down on the spread of infection was an important landmark in the development of medicine anesthesia is no anesthesia is given when new discoveries and invention increase the life plans and improve the quality of treatment ct scan computed axial tornography mean orthography this minimally invasive test involves injection of a contrast medium into a joint followed by standard x-ray cat scan and magnetic resonance imaging it includes identification of tendons and ligament injuries rotator cuff and loosened and loosening joint replacement or other prosthesis other prosthesis